everyone. Today we're going to be discussing five pens that I have currently inked up. I, I'm really excited about this lineup and hopefully it will be interesting for you. So let's go ahead and take a closer look and if you have any questions, please let me know. Okay, so to start, this is a half ruler, so six inches. The bottom two here are pocket pens and they're basically the same size. This is a Caveco Brass Sport. This is the Sailor Professional Gear Mini. This is the Sailor Professional Gear Slim. This is the Sailor Professional Gear, period. And this is the Pelican M800, which is the biggest of the bunch. And here they all are posted. And as you can see, the Pelican grows quite a lot and I, I have never posted the Pelican and I feel like even those with the biggest of hands may find this to be a bit long of a pen. The Sailor and the Caveco Sport are again the same length when posted and you can see that makes for a very nice size. If I were to take the cap off it is considerably smaller. You could you could make it work if you were in a hurry, um, but it's not particularly comfortable. This particular model has does require threading the cap to post. But the cool thing about it is, um, if you line it up with the nib, it just takes one rotation, and then you have that clip nicely lined up so that it's not interfering with your hand or your writing experience. The Sailor Slim works nicely posted and unposted. The standard Sailor professional gear um, certainly is a bit longer when posted, but it's very doable. The balance is nice, but it is equally just as comfortable to have it unposted Really the only pen in this bunch that I would not want to post is the Pelican, just because it does get really quite large. But you can see it's even a large pen unposted. And actually, if we're to compare these two pocket pens unposted, the Caveco Sport is more likely to be usable without the cap. In fact, I can use it very easily without the cap, unlike the Sailor Mini, which is truly mini. <laughs> now, I personally thought this was fun. The Sailor Slim and the Sailor Mini are similar or exactly the same size in the grip section and in their caps. So the caps are interchangeable and the whole entire grip section and nib unit is also interchangeable. I cannot show you with this matchup just because the cartridge converter is substantially larger than the body, but this I can show you at least. And it looks like it was made or released with this particular grip section. So that's kind of fun if you ever feel adventurous. I have kind of a love-hate relationship with Sailor. I, I really, it's a, a pen that I have gravitated towards for many years now. I really love the Sailor pens. I love the look of them. I love the colors that they produce. I love the nibs. They're beautiful nibs. They usually are really exceptionally tuned and write very well. However, I have several older sailors that all have cracks around the cap here and cracks around the grip section. Um, and so that's just something to keep in mind. This, I believe it's resin, does not stand the test of time, which is a bit unfortunate. I've also noticed on my older pens the clips and the cap bands, 
the gold finishing has worn off. Now, I may be a little bit rougher with my pens than the average person. I don't know. I definitely feel a little bit more protective of my sailors now, uh, which is why I have been enjoying this Caveco Brass Sport so much because I can just toss this anywhere and I'm just not worried at all about how this little guy holds up. Okay, so let's look at some writing samples. I will be using the Leuchtturm paper for today. All right, so I'm gonna go in order of finest to largest. Okay, so I have these two are extra fines, which I think is really interesting. This Pelican Extra Fine puts down a substantially large line. However, this Sailor Extra Fine, believe it or not, Japanese nibs generally are much finer than European nibs, uh, is surprisingly quite fat of a line. And I think because it is one of the more juicy sailor nibs that I have ever experienced. There is a little bit more feedback with that sailor extra fine than some of the other pens. Here is the Caveco Sport, which has a fine nib and it actually puts down a finer line than these two extra fine nibs and then this is the sailor hard medium fine so there's really no flexibility in this nib similarly to the Caveco Sport. Okay, and here they all are in comparison to each other. As you can see, the Pelican is the fattest line, followed by the Sailor Extra Fine. And then the Caveco fine is even thinner than the rest of these, which is really, it, it just is funny to me because the medium fines you would think would be fatter than this, <laughs> but yet this you would think would be considerably finer than that. Um, so it is an interesting variance in how these nib, nibs have been constructed or tuned. There also is a component of the different inks that you use that does make a difference. The Caveco Sport nib in general is a very dry nib, so it does not put a lot of ink down on the paper. The ink that is in it, which is Ancient Copper by Diamine, is also a very dry ink. So in general, there's a lot of things working for this particular nib to make the line finer than maybe these others. Like I said, this Sailor Extra Fine nib is one of the juiciest Sailor nibs that I've experienced th thus far, which does have play a big role in why these lines are so substantial. Okay, and that concludes our video. I hope that this was interesting and helpful, and I will see you all in the next video. Happy writing. <laughs>